How to knit the stag horn cable stitch, English style. For this tutorial, you'll need a pair of knitting needles. Today we are using hand-turned Bacote exotic hardwood needles from Montana Mountain Knitting Needles in the size US 9, a cable needle. Today we are using this handcrafted blown glass cable needle from Moving Mud and a ball of yarn. Today we are using hand-dyed gradient yarns from Knit Circus. This is their lap of luxury merino silk worsted weight yarn in the color Starry Night. Special thanks to our sponsor YarnClub.net for providing all of today's products. Find more beautifully handmade local artisan produced products like these in their monthly awesome box. For this stitch you'll need to know the following techniques. Knit, purl, cable four front, cable four back. This cable stitch is worked over 16 stitches on a background of reverse stockinette. Now like all of our cable stitches, we are not going to be covering the reverse stockinette portion of the stitch. Uh, we're only going to be covering the 16 stitches that the cable is worked over in the center. And uh, you can add however many border stitches you would like on either side. Now before we get into the main part of our pattern, we're going to do a foundation row of all purl stitches. Row 1. Beginning on the right side of our work, we are going to knit 4. Then we're going to take our cable needle and we are going to do a cable 4 back. So we're going to slip the next two stitches onto the cable needle. We're going to hold that behind our work. Then we'll knit the next two stitches from our main needle. And we'll knit two from our cable needle. Okay, then we're going to do a cable for front. So again, we'll take our cable needle, slip the next two stitches onto the cable needle. This time we'll hold the cable needle in front of our work. Then knit the next two stitches from our main needle. And two from our cable needle. And then we can set our cable needle off to the side. And we'll finish up by knitting four. Row two, we're going to purl all stitches. Row three, we're going to begin by knitting two. Then we're going to take our cable needle and do a cable four back. So slip the first two stitches and hold that behind our work. Then we'll knit two from the main needle. And knit two from our cable needle. Then we're going to set this off to the side for a second. And we're going to knit four. Okay, and then we're going to take our cable needle again and we're going to do a cable four front. So slip the next two stitches and hold in front on our cable needle. Then we'll knit two. And then we'll knit two from our cable needle. And we can put that off to the side again. And we'll finish up by knitting two. Row four, we're going to purl all stitches.
Row six, we're going to, row five, we're going to begin by taking our cable needle and doing a cable four back. So we'll slip these first two stitches onto our cable needle and we will hold that behind our work. Then we'll knit two from our main needle and then knit two from our cable needle. And we'll hold that cable needle off to the side for a little bit and we're going to knit eight. Okay, then we'll grab our cable needle again, and we are going to do a cable for front. So hold that in front of our work. We'll knit two, and then we will knit two from our cable needle. Okay, and we can set the cable needle off to the side. Row six, we're going to purl all stitches. So repeat rows one through six until you've reached your desired length. And that's how you knit the staghorn cable stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. For more information and a chance to win a free awesome box, visit yarnclub.net slash stitch.